Fans, thanks for joining us again. Rampage Pro Wrestling. I tell you what, I am overwhelmed with the ideas that are coming up now for the Citizens of Bash coming up very shortly. Sunday, July 24th is the place to be. Rampage Pro Wrestling, Johnny G's Fun Center, 2 p.m. The biggest event of the year is going to be here. Citizen Summer Bash. Don't miss it. And on the ring, on the Witch of the Ring now, a main event here for Rampage Pro Wrestling. One of the Jimmy Rave approved former general manager, Sal Renara. And right there, you're looking at one of the tag teams that's going to be competing at Sizzling Summer Bash in the Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match for the Tag Team Titles. Hot Like Lava, the champions. Usual suspects, the former champions and former NWA World Tag Team Champions. Also, this team right here of Sal Renaro and Jimmy Rave and the opponent in this particular match, Kyle Matthews, and a partner of his choice. Absolutely. You know, the history between Jimmy Rave and Sal Renaro is there also. It uh, goes way back, and uh, surprising to see them together, but you never know in pro wrestling what will take place. And if you're surprised and wondering why Sal Renaro is here, yes, he was fired as general manager. Doc wants to keep him around as a wrestler, though, to let him pay some of his dues back. Well, we've known about the story between Kyle Matthews and Jimmy Rave that appears to be a nearly a never-ending story here in Rampage Pro Wrestling. But a new chapter was uh, was written when Sal Renaro, during a bloody steel cage match not that long ago, but it seems like an eternity now, slammed that cage door into the face of Kyle Matthews, turning his back on really all of Rampage Pro Wrestling and becoming Jimmy Rave approved. Absolutely, I'm sure he still feels that steel cage door slamming in his head every time he sees Sal Renaro. The ultimate betrayal, Sal Renaro was out there to guard the cage and indeed that's what he did. He guarded it against Kyle Matthews. And now Jimmy Ray being warned by Dustin Robinson, no love lost between these two. And Jimmy Ray being told to get out of the ring and head to the back by referee Dustin Robinson. Notice that Kyle Matthews also has uh, trim some of his hair, which is probably a good idea. If one, of the, one of the real truths is when your hair is short, nobody working you in the match can use that hair as a weapon. That's true. It looks like he and uh, Jeremy Vane had a hair versus hair match and they both lost. Jimmy Rave not going quietly into that good night by any stretch of the imagination. Why is it that Jimmy Rave makes every match involving the approved be about him? I think the whole world is about Jimmy Rave, isn't that right? The world according to Jimmy Rave. They'd, well, they'd, yes, that's true. There is an awful lot of that going on. But right now, this is all about Kyle Matthews and a bit of retribution. Um, it's a bit, it's a lot for him, but quite honestly, isn't it a little bit for us also here? Indeed, and uh, don't be fooled by the psychology because this guy, Sal Nero, a dangerous competitor, he's going to spend some time out here trying to psych Kyle Matthews up. He'll take any opportunity he can take. Well, the fans reminding Sal Renaro that he was terminated as general manager by current general manager, Doc Gayton. And are, are you wondering who Kyle Matthews' mystery partner might be at the Sisman Summer Bash in that RPW Tag Team Championship Fatal 4-Way? Possibilities are limitless. I guarantee you fans, if we don't find that out on this particular episode, they had another reason for you to be in the weeks heading into, as you watch this, we still have some time before the show. You're gonna wanna go, and now both guys heading to the back, not quite sure what this is about at this point, but Sauronaro being escorted back to the ring and thrown in, and it looks like there's the bell and we now have a match at this point. Renaro's gonna have to start this match no matter what. But well, I wanna encourage fans, Anything we don't let you know here, you're probably going to be able to find the answer to at rampageprowrestling.net. You're going to want to check that out or go to our very visited Facebook page. But we want to hear what you think about what we're doing here at Rampage Pro Wrestling. So please leave us a comment, send us a note. Let us know what you think about Rampage Pro Wrestling. If you've got ideas, things you want to see happen here, people you want to see come into Rampage Pro Wrestling, we want to know that too. We're about the fans and we want to deliver what the fans want here in Warner Robins, in our Macon, uh, Georgia viewing area. We are Middle Georgia's professional wrestling. Absolutely, we know Rampage Pro Wrestling uh, is fan approved, and certainly the fans, without the fans would have nothing. And uh, Tom Matthews, once again, not being able to get his hands on Sal Renaro, and Miss Allie's even had to tell Sal to get back in the ring. Now that's sad when the ring announcer has to tell Sal to get in the ring. Very much so. 
Cal Matthews very well traveled, uh, just returning recently from a big match in Ozark, Alabama. Coming up very soon, along with, as it turns out, Corey Hollis and Mike Posey. He has been entered into the Shamrock Cup in Maryland Championship Wrestling coming up in just a few weeks. Very busy young athlete. I remember it wasn't that uh, many weeks ago where he had wrestled three days in a row five different times. Wow. And you know, Kyle Matthews has just been nominated by Cauliflower Alley uh, to be one of the contenders nominees for the uh, future legend. So, uh, and a tremendous honor that is. California Alley, by the way, fans, if you aren't aware of that, you're going to want to research that. And uh, it's one of the things I've not yet joined. And in fact, it's something I plan to join very soon. What a tremendous organization is the Cauliflower Alley, doing tremendous work for professional wrestlers, our older professional wrestlers. They provide a lot of help to the wrestling community. And it's a tremendously positive organization that meets on an annual basis. And if you don't know why it's called Cauliflower, look at the ears of some of the legends. You'll see what happens as a result of years and years inside headlocks. Very much so, and Matthews got acquainted with the Cauliflower Alley through his mentor and trainer, Nightmare Ted Allen. What a tribute it is for Ted uh, to have Tyler even nominated. It's a great thing, and I know Tyler is living now the dream of Ted Allen. Uh, continues to run that head into the turnbuckle of Sal Renaro, and Kyle Matthews now takes the second turnbuckle, and all the way down. Now we're on the third one. Let's see if he wants to continue. There's three turnbuckles, and there you go, and Sal Renaro does not know where he is right now. Well, he is in La La Land. He floats over to the opposing corner, but that is no escape because Matthews now pinning him down with his legs, and I think we're going to learn to count to ten. And, of course, Kyle Matthews is doing this not only for himself, Well, he but only gets fans. to six, but that's quite all right. Well, wait, I guess we need to get the last four in. He's going to make sure he gets them all Seven, in. Seven, eight, nine. We do we get all ten. Changing. No, we wouldn't want that. And Renaro comes out, staggers out, and goes down hard cover. Nope, not enough right there. Can't sell Renaro short. Absolutely, Matthews off the rope, goes for a Ooh, cross body and right into the ropes and crashes. And that time, that may uh, give Sal Renaro the win he needs and sliding baseball uh, drop kick. Caught him, the baseball slide. Now, Renaro, a, a cagey professional wrestler, he's learned over time how to pick his spots, and that was an example. Got out of the way. Kyle Matthews, a little reckless on that, pretty much nearly strangled himself on the ropes as he dove through. He was lucky not to get seriously injured on that, but it's given now. J Jimmy Rave approves Sal Renaro the opportunity to take over on Kyle Matthews. Now Sal moving in, uh, staying right on top of Kyle. And a blow to the midsection, and it's Kyle now trying to fight back. Double punch to the chest. Good go behind, shoots him off, and there's a double thrust to the time of the throw there. And Kyle Matthews goes out to the arena floor. That is concrete underneath a very little rug around the ring. Well, I said before, you can't sell Sal Renaro short. Former multi-champion here at Rampage Pro Wrestling, former tag team champion in Ring of Honor Wrestling, has held titles all over the United States, Florida for FIP. He has been in the professional wrestling business for over a decade and has accomplished an awful lot. So you can't sell this man short. You may not like him, you may not like his attitude, you may not like his tactics, but you gotta respect the wrestler. Elbow and a drop down to the back of the head of Tom Matthews, just float over and behind him. Pummeling behind on top of the head. And now you see that he didn't have much hair to grab, he tried to grab his hair. Caught him that time, good rollover. Lateral press, hooks the leg, not enough. Tom Matthews, great technical wrestler. Great tour to Japan when he came back, had a lot of new moves, and uh, this man's a fighter if there ever was one. Sal Renaro now doing the Jimmy Rave approved pose. Might not be the time to pose and do a promo, what do you think? I think so. Oh, but that was a mistake right there. He spent some time to educate the fans on the glory of the approved team, and that's given Kyle Matthews the brief moment to get a little bit of a second win. You can't give Kyle Matthews an inch. Two, three, It'll take a mile four. if you do, and uh, that time again, it's Sal Renaro just raking across the face, eyes, and nose of Kyle Matthews. Take the vision out, and then not much left here. He won't know where he's at. Boot to the midsection, and now taking the leg and drags him to the center of the ring. Wide open, and going for that stomp right into the stomach. 
un totally unprotected right there for Matthews. Nothing he can do to get out of the way of that. He just has to take it. Now it looks like he's going to crab him over. He does. There's Boston a full Boston crab. crab. He can sit, and he is. He's sitting down on it. He's putting that full pressure on the back. Now he's rolling over with it, executing it sort of sideways. That's an interesting way of getting it. Now using the foot to put extra pressure on the on the head. He lost the maneuver a little bit there. Matthews was twisting a bit, but he's still got a half crab on him. Knee locked and uh, Matthews reaching for the rope. The rope will break it, of course, if he doesn't break his leg first. A lot of pressure being applied to that knee right now. And that is excruciating pain right now that Kyle Matthews is in. This is a submission hole. Fans is always rallying support behind Kyle Matthews. He grabs the ropes and the referee Dustin Robinson calls for a break. Well, I tell you, the moves like the full Boston Crab, all these maneuvers that go after the back area of professional wrestlers is one of the reason why the chiropractor is a professional wrestler's best friend. Absolutely, and now it's Sal Ranaro moving in now with that arm. Good from behind, picks him up and drops him to the side, with the side suplex on the back of the head. Puts him, two count, no, no. Just imagine the pain that's involved for a professional wrestler with those constant falls on the back that had that had, had a necessity happen in professional wrestling. It is amazing that these gentlemen are able to compete as often as they can and at the level of intensity they're able to, to present. Remember the old stand back commercial, Dusty Rhodes, I can tell you about pain. Well, and, and <laughs> believe me, professional wrestlers can. Thank goodness for advances in uh, medicine, literally, that have come into play since the uh, glory days of professional wrestling. The gentlemen that, that you'll be able to talk to at the Legends Fan Fest that first Absolutely. weekend in August will be able to tell you about you know, the fact they didn't really have the chiropractic attention, they didn't have the medical attention, the ability to take care of their, these conditions at the level before, and they worked through those injuries and were on the road four, five, six days a week, traveling two, 300 miles between shows. It was a grueling schedule then, and today's professional wrestler has a grueling schedule too. Some of those would wrestle three times in one day. Very much so. Right now, Sal Ranaro has Kyle Matthews where he wants it. Locking that head now. A very interesting variation there on the lot on the headlock. And we mentioned the Colorado Alley. That's one of the reason fans, if you don't yet have tickets to the Legends Fan Fest, you're gonna want to get together on that. Because hearing how this business got going and the heyday of wrestling with the guys that were wrestling in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, that can tell you a little bit about a business that has changed dramatically over the years. Everything changes. Television has changed and with it has professional wrestling as has the live event aspect of wrestling. But it's the history of professional wrestling that is truly amazing and these veterans will be there for you to explain an awful lot of that. You're not going to want to miss that opportunity. I'm going to have an opportunity to uh, do a question and answer with uh, the mass superstar Stan Hansen and Dr. D. David Schultz. I'm looking forward to questions from the fans. I'm sure they have a lot for those guys. Well, Dr. D. David Schultz, infamous and famous uh, from a uh, an attack on John Stossel years back. That uh, he asked the wrong question. Well, it, it very much so. He made the mistake of assuming that what professional wrestlers do is fake. And trust me, you look at the pain these people go through, the medical time, the time they have to take off, the injuries they occur. I mean, I heard Christopher Daniels, who's in a big, a recent big match with AJ Styles, talking about the fact that he has literally no ligaments in one knee, that he has a near separation in his shoulder, and all of this that he works through on a daily basis. He wakes up every day in pain, he said in that interview. You know, John Stossel, understands still has a hearing loss because of that altercation with uh, Schultz. Well, I guess it was fake. <laughs> and all he did was slap him. That's all, right outside the head. Now front chancery by Sal Ronaro. Heck, there was another. Heck, there was another time when uh, Hulk Hogan taught someone about the realities of professional wrestling. Oh, drop kick there, caught every bit of him on that one. Now Ronaro does up single leg uh, trip there by Tom Matthews. Matthews now going up, climbing the top turnbuckle. Going to fly now. Well, and Ronaro. Caught him right in the back. In a bad situation, made worse by Matthews. Bowling ball maneuver there into the corner. Renaro rolls out and Matthews going up at this point. Looks like he's gonna fly. Tom Matthews a phenomenal athlete and that frog splash beautifully beautiful. executed cover. One, two, not enough for the three count. Man. Reminiscent of Eddie Guerrero. That was tremendous right there. 
And now Kyle Matthews moving back in. Full arm twist. And he's trying to go. He was about to go to put Akalak. Reversed there by Renaro. Handful of tights right there. Referee didn't see it. Still only a two count. Cut off there on a clothesline. Gets a reverse elbow in. Renaro up over Inziguri to the top of the head. Hooks him right there. Not enough. And by the way, we were talking about NWA Legends Fan Fest. Go to nwalegends.com for tickets and more information. Sal Renaro now in the ring right now. Wondering what in the world is it going to take to beat a man like Kyle Matthews. It's going to take a lot. Kyle Matthews, like all the athletes in Rampage Pro Wrestling, there's not, they don't know the definition of the word quit. They go and give you 110%. And you know, it's not possible to give 110%, but were it possible, that's the definition of a Rampage Pro Wrestling wrestler. Absolutely. Oh. At that time, double cross body at the same time. Both men go down. A lot of impact right there to the weakest part of the body, the midsection. And both men are down now. Referee now starting a standing 10 count between the two here. See which of these gentlemen can get to their feet to break the count. Right now, both men down. Wait a minute, Kyle Matthews getting up there is now to a vertical base. Sal Renaro trying to get up. Neither man in the ring at this point. Both fighting on the ring apron, but referee is not continuing the count. Both having again the same idea going up top. Both men now on that second ring rope and turnbuckle, and what is gonna happen here? Uh, Sal going for a suplex, and that would be a huge superplex down to the floor. That could be career ending right there. Referee is still counting. They are still outside of the ring, and his count is legitimate here. It's up to six. Neither has yet come into the ring to the break top, the count. Neck breaker from the top, but that hurt both men. Talk about a neck breaker. And both men go down. The impact of that just took Kyle Matthews out with Sal Renaro. The fans are trying to cheer for Kyle to get up. I don't even think, I think Sal has seen those stars you used to see on the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner commercials. Very much so. And Kyle Matthews manages to make it to the ropes. He's gonna use those to try to get himself up to his feet. Using him for support is Kyle Matthews trying to get his wits about him. Matthews to his feet, but so is Renaro. Smart move there, Matthews goes downstairs instead of upstairs, hooks the head, takes him face first into the mat, and now pretty Slurpy much just kick. kicks his face off. That's it! No, can't Slurpy get kick. Renaro, amazing that Renaro was able to kick out. How in the world did Sal Renaro kick out of that slurpy kick? I don't know, but Kyle Matthews is determined more than ever, he's gonna get this win on Sal Renaro. Renaro now trying to find a way to get back to his and feet. And Matthews getting himself in his zone, pounding the mat. And Ren mistake there, because Renaro was ready, trying to hook him again, roll through, he's got him hooked. Doesn't have the shoulders down yet, now he does. Kick oh, out. He had him. Good move by referee Dustin Robinson. You don't count if those shoulders aren't down. Now Hidaka Lock has been cooked. This could be this it, right. it right here. But no, it isn't it because here comes no. the Jimmy Rave approved Jim team. Day, Corey There's Hollis and Jimmy There's Rave Day coming and out. Walking casually out to the ring with a he microphone. Had the Lock. With a microphone is Jimmy Rave. They were waiting for this moment if it were to happen. We know Sal Ronaldo was moments from submitting once he got the Hidaka Lock on him. It was all over. And Jimmy Ray's in the Kyle ring. Matthews, this has been going on over a year. You shut your mouth. These men in the ring could have been your friends. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep hitting me. You shut up. Don't stop. These could have been your friends, Kyle. But you know what? You don't have any friends. Well, it appears You're right nothing. now that may be true. You're friends like nothing. That, who enemies? Uh, Wait just a minute! Well, I know that man. That's who the seven-figure deal Ace Rockwell. Ace I Ace mentioned Rockwell. him earlier. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He was in the whoa, finals whoa. of the NWA North American whoa, Tournament. Whoa. Ace Rockwell. Hey, listen. Take two steps back, buddy. Ace Rockwell. I have nothing but respect for you. And if he believes that, uh -uh. we probably got some property I somewhere in a swamp we can sell him. For you. You're the NWA Southern Heavyweight Champion. That is the truth. At one. Listen, at one time. 
You and I were friends. We were like this. At one time? Well, like Don't many of Jimmy Ray's relationships, they're all right short there, term. Man. Because what you're doing right now is the biggest mistake of your life. Slap to the face and Ace Rush won't well, not take that. Now Paolo and Sal Renaro off the ropes. Caught him now and took him down and there's the take by Chip Day. Rock won't well, caught him with that pillow to belly. Ducks the clothesline. Caught him. Lance Hollis and now Rave is up and nowhere's land and there's Ace Rockwell. He's got him up. Oh, it's about to time to Everybody's go to school. Been. I don't know if we've seen one of those in a few years, a have long we been? Time. And now say bye bye to Jimmy Rave. Ace Rockwell has cleaned the house. And in the ring, the seven figure deal. Ace Rockwell, Kyle Matthews. Look, what and are you doing? we're going to fly. Kyle Matthews has just found someone who is going to back him up with Jimmy Rave approved and Ace Rockwell. I don't think that Jimmy Ray was ready for that, and I know this is not Jimmy Ray approved. Well, I can tell you right now, I don't know that we have to make a big guess. Guess who the uh, mystery partner is? It's not a mystery anymore. The winner of the match, Ace Rockwell, Rockwell, and you may be looking at the new RPW Tag Team Champions come the Sizzling Summer Bash. Wow, last couple of weeks, Rampage Pro Wrestling Television fans, I hope you've been along for the ride, and if you haven't, those of you that have been watching, call your friends, call your neighbors, tell them to go to rampageprowrestling.net and take a look at what's going on at Rampage Pro Wrestling. But better still, tell them to get in the car and on Sunday, the 24th, July 24th, 2 p.m., head to Johnny G's in Warner Robins, Georgia, because it's sizzling summer bash, the hottest show in town. If you think it's hot outside, you ain't seen nothing yet till you get to the sizzling summer bash. Ben Masters and Bell Barons at ringside, we'll see you live. Sunday, July 24th, and you'll see a Strock Will and Kyle Matthews in that fatal four way RPW tag team title match. Until then, so long, everybody.